Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again. Uh, I had a question from a, a scriber uh, about the finalization of battery, uh, of, of basically any power station. So uh, a meter will say 100%, okay? And uh, you know, when, it, when it's completely charged, but that doesn't mean it's 100% done. So the question is, why does my power meter stay at 100% even though there's still power going in? I have a th 1100 watts of uh, these guys going in, two of those, and uh, notice that it's not 1100 watts. So basically what it's doing is, uh, the best analogy that people have come up with is a baseball stadium. So if, you know, uh, if 1100, say a ton of people go into a baseball stadium and it's empty, it's very easy to find a seat, okay? So as it fills up, when it gets to capacity, it's very hard to find this, those empty seats. So the energy bounces around all the battery cells and goes, oop, there's one, and there's one. And that's kind of what it's doing. The systems are designed, the BMS and the MPPT controllers inside kind of regulate that. So uh, this, uh, you see, you see how it's kind of ramping down? It's kind of finding one seat here, one seat there, one space in this battery pack, one in that battery pack. And you'll see eventually this will drop down to nothing and then be done. Uh, other than there's a charge through on the system and we're putting out uh, nine watts. So uh, here, what I'll do is we'll turn off the system, okay? So now everything that's uh, in is all input. There's no output, no DC or no AC on. So now notice this number. See how it's kind of dropping a little bit faster? Eventually that will get to zero, even though this says 100%. A lot of people get worried when they see 100% and they, uh, you know, they think, oh my God, my battery's gonna explode or something like that. But one really neat thing that this system has, and, and some systems do, some don't, is an option to hit this button here and notice that it turns to the voltage. Now 28.6 or 28.7 is a fully charged system. I've noticed that it goes all the way up to 28.7 on this system, it's a 24 volt battery pack or battery system. So if, if we could do this long enough here, you, you're gonna see this. You see how it's kind of whittling down? So every second or so it's dropping another watt. It's, it's trying to find those last little bits of space that it can put the energy. Notice that won't go to 28.7 probably until this is all the way down. Uh, I've noticed that uh, 28.6 is, that's a good charge, but 28.7 is seems to be where this system says, okay, that's enough energy. Um, the systems are uh, all three batteries, the EVs, uh, but we'll, we'll just we'll keep watching it for a few more seconds here, just so you can see it in real time as far as, um, you know, how that finalization, now notice it still says 100%, right? Well, it's not done yet. But uh, I, I, I saw a, a, a few people on, on the YouTube and they were pretty much like, you know, hey, is my system okay? Is it overcharging? Is the voltage over what it's supposed to be? With this system, you're able to watch the actual real voltage. So that's nice because now you know that it's not over voltage. Over 28.7 on this system, usually is over voltage but notice this is still dropping right oh there you go i just heard one of the fans kick down now oh notice see the step down 52 right 50 so now basically what that is is because that system's so big you you pretty much have a, a almost like a trickle charge like a finalization of you know how much energy can can fit in there Oh, there's a little bit of a spike, and let's see, 20, oh, there you go. Okay, so the system finally shut down. All right, no, notice the, the zero watts. You heard the clicking of the power, and then the system shuts off. So now, uh, because I didn't have it on, of course, it shuts off when it's done. It's designed to go on standby after it's done. Now notice, 100%, 28.2. Now this will settle. Uh, if you guys remember that video that I made of the soda, you know, where the energy goes like this and then it kind of just settles down. That's what batteries do. Once you charge them, the voltage kind of settles. And then, uh, you know, th this will sit down in a, a normal number, usually under 28, obviously. But uh, notice this will kind of go down real, real slow now. See, there it goes. It just dropped another tenth of a percent. 
uh, or I'm sorry, a tenth of a volt, because now the batteries are kind of all resting. It would be the same as uh, uh, f filling that uh, that soda in, in the cup. Uh, I'd recommend if if, if you're not uh, familiar with that, go back and watch that video. I think that's a pretty good demonstration of how batteries charge. But now notice this uh, this Pecron E2000 with the EBs, the eight kilowatt system is completely charged and see that voltage dropped another tenth of a volt so now it's down to 27.9 and now i'm pulling out 10 watts so i'm using it and i can do that for 320 hours so i mean that's 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 a few hours i think i can run that for a few hours but uh the weird thing is this system the power meter is not always 100 percent active or uh, accurate but as soon as you pump more watts in a system it corrects itself really quick so, I mean, you know, it, it's a lot to balance on a system where you, you know, start putting expandable batteries and stuff like that. But uh, I, I've had no problems, no matter what this power meter says, I follow the voltage. I always follow the voltage. Safest way to do it, guys, is follow the voltage. I don't care what the power meter says percentage-wise, I follow the voltage. All right, guys, I just want to do another update just so uh, uh, this, this uh, describer that asked me that question and uh, I saw another, uh, you know, a few people on YouTube that, uh, you know, didn't have the answer. Hopefully this will provide some, some comfort for you. Don't worry, your system's okay. Your BMS and your MPPT controllers that are in these systems are designed to protect those cells. So unless, uh, you know, something's wrong with those, uh, the BMS system or the charger, um, they always settle where they should. Uh, anytime you finalize a battery, you know, do yourself a favor, stick around it, you know, kind of hang out and kind of just, you know, just make sure I'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to electronics because electronics and electricity, they start fires. All right, guys, I hope this answered your question. I'll see you in the next Rambling Bar Reviews.